with a market share of more than 80% globally, Google is the most popular search engine for internet users. As with most things in life, just because it's the most popular does not mean it's the best for you in every situation. Coming up, we'll show you 20 search engines in various categories you can use as an alternative to Google, some of which have better tools and layouts that make it easier to find what you're looking for. Let's get started. Let's start with two of Google's largest competitors, first of which is Bing from Microsoft. Worldwide, it's in second place with a market share of nearly 7%. When doing a search, you'll notice that the layout is very similar to what you'd find on Google. What I like about Bing is that their image search is far superior to that of Google and its other rivals with a more user-friendly layout. In addition, they have a rewards program called Bing Rewards that lets you accumulate points while searching that can be redeemed on their site for gift cards and other goodies. Yahoo at one time before Google came along was the most dominant search engine. Now it hovers around 3% globally as the third largest search engine. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. You'll notice when doing a search that the results look a lot like those on Bing. Yahoo Search is now completely powered by Microsoft Bing. So if you use Bing, you may find that there is no need to use Yahoo Search. So let's move on. If you've grown tired of having your personal data tracked and logged by Google and the other two already mentioned, we'll now take a look at several privacy-focused browsers. The most well-known is DuckDuckGo. They don't track your searches or online activities, and the results are aggregated for more than 100 different sources including Bing, Yandex, and many others. You can easily change the theme by going to Settings in the upper right and selecting Themes. I use the dark theme, and there are five others for you to choose from. A cool feature on DuckDuckGo is called Bangs, which quickly takes you to the search results on other sites. This works on more than 10,000 sites. Here's an example. In the search box, type an exclamation point, then start typing the name of the website. The filter bubble will show you how to complete the bang. In this one, I'm looking for new egg. And on that site, I wanna search for headphones. So I'll type in headphones here and hit enter. Now doing your search will take you directly to that site with the search results. Here are some other search engines focused on privacy that you might want to consider. Start page is perfect for those of you that prefer Google search results without having your search history tracked and their no logs policy does not store your IP address, meaning they don't know who you are. You can also change the search engine theme and settings in the upper right. Your choices are default, black, dark, air, and night. Earlier this year, Verizon launched a privacy focused search engine called OneSearch with results powered by Bing. They claim to have six key privacy-focused features, including no cookies, no user tracking, no search history, pure unfiltered results, keyboard encryption, and share links with confidence, which means when you share links with others, that link will expire within the hour. As many of you know, we're not huge fans of Yahoo, which I mentioned earlier. Verizon Media is the parent company of both Yahoo and OneSearch. While Yahoo has had massive data breaches in the past, OneSearch has yet to have any major issues that we're aware of. Hopefully with OneSearch, the extra layers of privacy include better methods of preventing data breaches. Swiss Cows, based in Switzerland, with some of the strongest privacy laws, never collects, stores, or tracks your data. Also, it's family-friendly, with a built-in filter for pornographic and violent content that can't be overwritten. When you make a search, there's this handy grid to the right with suggestion tags, which can be extremely useful to refine the results of your search. Yippee is another solid choice for those concerned about privacy. They don't track your searches or show customized ads. And for a change, they're powered by IBM Watson, not Google or Bing. After you do a search, you'll find filters along the left. They're listed in a variety of categories, which they call clusters, to help narrow down your search the second to last of the privacy-focused search engines is Quant, which sounds like it could be a bad word from where I come from. They're based in France and claim to never collect your personal data. And quite honestly, it was recommended by a viewer a few years back and have not used it since. And here's why, the results can be kind of strange. For example, when doing a search for Metallica, it lists their musical genre as hip-hop rap. 
So if you live in an alternate universe, Quant just may be the search engine for you. Before moving on to the next category, last but not least of these search engines focused on privacy is Peakier. They claim to be the most privacy-oriented search engine with search results powered by Bing. If you want to tweak the settings, just click the hamburger icon in the upper right. What we like about the site, instead of listing the results from top to bottom, you get preview cards. It's a nice change from the typical layout of other search engines. Click inside the card to increase or decrease the image. The first of two charity search engines is Ecosia. They've been around since 2009. They use their profits to plant trees around the world. So far, they've planted more than 100 million trees. The search results page has a nice clean layout. The search engine used is a modified version of Bing. The other charity search engine worth checking out is Give Water. The profits generated from ads are given to charitable partners who distribute clean water and sanitation. As with many others already mentioned, the search results on GiveWater are powered by Bing. The internet can be a dangerous place, especially for young children. Kittle is a customized version of Google powered by Google Safe Search with sites and pages written specifically for kids. The search results are kid-friendly with bigger thumbnails and images with larger font. So if you have small children, I'd highly recommend that you check out Kittle. We've got eight more search engines to go. The remainder will be niche or format specific. Just Watch helps you to find the streaming platform of the TV show or movie you want to watch. In the search bar here at the top, type the name of the TV show or movie and select it. If you scroll down the page, it will let you know where you can stream or buy. With this particular show, all three seasons are available on Netflix and Prime Video, with one season available on Sling. Just Watch is currently available in more than 40 countries. If you are a 3D printing enthusiast, Thangs is a search engine that lets you easily find 3D designs contributed by its online community. After you do a search, clicking on a model will take you to a page to view it in better detail and download it for your next project. If you're looking for copyright-free content, CC Search from the folks at Creative Commons is a site you should visit. It searches across more than 300 million images to help find what you're looking for. You can filter the results along the left and narrow down your selection. If you're a science and space fanatic, the NASA Image and Video Library lets you search more than 140,000 NASA images, audio and video files archived throughout its history. While not being copyright free, news outlets, schools and textbook authors may use NASA content without needing explicit permission. When you need a GIF for your social media post, Giphy is the go-to source to search for more than 10 million GIFs, stickers, and other content in their library. So the next time you need a taco GIF, you know where to go. For aspiring computer programmers, Search Code is a site you should bookmark. It can be an invaluable search tool to get you through your toughest projects analyzing open source code. After doing a search, you can filter by source, language, and repository along the left. The Internet Archive lets you search an insane number of free videos, books, software, and other stuff with millions to choose from in their library. Yes, it's completely legal. After your initial search, you'll probably need to narrow down the selection using the filters to find what is relevant to you, beginning with media type. Wolfram Alpha is perhaps one of the most useful websites ever created. Their computational search engine curates data from reputable sources. Sorry folks, Twitter and Facebook are not deemed reputable by this site. While it's great for math, click into the other categories to learn how to do more advanced searches. Or just do a simple search like this one to gather a massive amount of factual information. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it's useful for you. What is your favorite search engine? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with tech alternatives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.